Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosa, if you don't know, and uh, today I am going to do a grocery haul. I just arrived at the store. I have about an hour and a half to shop. I don't want to spend too much money today, but I am doing the monthly stock up, so I think I may spend more than 200. Let's see. Um, I, I have my list that you'll see in the next clip and then yeah I'll shop and then I'll show you what you got what I got and how much I spent wish me luck all right so here is my grocery shopping list some of the things aren't in the right places because I didn't have enough space and some of the things may be misspelled and you may notice that some of the things are in Portuguese and then other things are in English. And I printed out a calendar just so I can start and try meal planning. I don't know how well this is going to go because I'm not that great at meal planning. So I made my grocery list um, with things that I need at home. This is technically my monthly grocery list, but also uh, with things that I will need for the recipes that I'm making this week. There are certain things that I don't usually buy, like celery is not as common here. I'll buy more bacon than usual because I want to have some bacon at home. You know, I'm going to go shopping. And then when I come back, I'll show you what I got and how much I spent. Alright, so I'm back from the store and I'm just going to film the frozen things first real quick because I need to put them in the freezer before they unfreeze. So I got a pack of meatballs, just pre-made meatballs. It, this is good to have in the freezer when I need something quick. I got two packs of hamburgers. Uh, one was 410, 4 euros and 10 cents and the other was for four euros and 14 cents. The um, meatballs were 3.95. Then I got this to make some wet food for my cat and I think I'm gonna be making this into a video. So I guess you can expect that. I got some liver and heart, some chicken liver and heart for 150. And then I got chicken, I think it's giblets, I'm not sure. If, I, if the name is incorrect, I'll let you know. I'll put it up on the screen. That was 164. I got bacon bits, three packs of them. Um, I think it was 139. I got a pack of ham, a pack of cheese, two packs of chicken drumsticks, a big one kilo of pre, you know, French fries, frozen French fries. I got two kilos of chicken breasts. The only problem with these are they were on sale, so that's why I bought them. But the only thing I don't like about these are that they're already salted. So I gotta remember that or else I'll put too salt on it and then it'll be too salty. I got a chicken, a whole chicken. This is also for my cat's wet food. I got a, a bar of butter. I got a bag of broccoli. Two packages of codfish, salted codfish, codfish. Um, then I got some leeks, two leeks here, oranges, carrots, some grapes, and I think that's all for the cold things at this store. I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna show you the rest. All right, so here are the rest of the groceries and I'm gonna start off by here these two juices were on sale for 120 and then I got a coca-cola for 178 I think and this was 129 these packs were on sale for 259 so I got two lemon and one tangerine I got two packs of peanuts because I have um, Easter treats to do with this. These cans were on sale for 64 cents each. 
So I bought them just in case my boyfriend needs to take them for lunch. He really he rarely takes food from home, but I just like to have those on reservation. Next I have um a plastic container of chocolate chips. These this is how chocolate chips is sold here. We don't have Hershey chocolate chips. I wish we did. Then I got a big thing of um, cinnamon because my cinnamon's almost done and I use a lot of it so I decided to grab a big big container. Back there I have some instant coffee that was $2.29. This was on sale for $2.99. The milk was on sale for $0.92 cents each carton. The pancake syrup was two something, almost three euros. The coffee, we already had some of these, but since it was on sale, I decided to get some. It was seven, I think it was seven fifty nine. Then I decided to grab a bag of this because uh, sometimes I feel like making desserts and I like to have this on hand so that was under a euro I think it was 89 cents then I grabbed a bag of walnuts some almond sliced slices this was 89 cents it's not on sale anymore unfortunately but I grabbed one because I am almost finished the sugar was 159 I got two packs of Napkins, 49 cents each. I got a container of cake um, baking powder. A container of baking soda. The baking soda was 79 cents. The baking powder, I can't remember. This is just a little treat. That was a euro and something. They're like after eats. They're, they're not actual after eats. They're by the... The store's uh, name, brand, house brand. Then I got a loaf of bread for one eighty nine. I got four bottles of water because I like to take these to work, and they were thirty one cents each. I got a bag of chips for, I think it was eighty nine cents. Three cartons of heavy cream. They didn't have the pasta that I wanted which is similar to this one but it's bigger so I got one of these which were 99 cents one of these which was also 99 cents the lasagna was on sale for 179 and this was 139 one kilo of spaghetti I got some basmati rice which was 179 I got a bag of onions This was on sale for $1.49. It's new. I haven't seen this in years. This is sour cream dip. It must be sour cream and onion. I have a little helper here. Psh, princesa. Pushan, por favor. Alright, um, next, the tuna. These were 89 cents each. I meant to get eight, but I grabbed nine. Whatever. Just one more at home. I got this binder. Um, I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't more than two euros. It was one something. I got the eggs for 4.49. So 24 eggs for 4.49. This was on, on sale for 1.74, I think. Now, back here, I grabbed some cans of beans. I got, um, this is Peja Montega. The literal translation is butter beans, but I don't know, I don't think that's what they're called in English. Then I got some black beans for chili. I got a can of diced tomatoes, and I got some red beans. But I also got a bag of red beans so I can try and sugar cook them and see 
if I like them. They're 500 grams. I wonder how much this will give me when I pressure cook them. I'll let you know how that works out. I got this hack from Living Day by Day. I'll leave her channel link in the description below. She's really good at food budgeting. So you guys should check her out. I just did a collaboration with her. I'll also link that video, her video and my video in the description of this video. Next I got a jar of pickles because I love pickles. I got a jar of olives. A little can of diced tomatoes. I like to have both sizes on hand because both sizes are needed at times. I got a jar of Hellman's mayo. A package of um, bechamel sauce. Sometimes I make this homemade. Other times I just, I like to have this on hand when I don't feel like making homemade bechamel. Here is the pimento paste or the pimento sauce that I use, the pepper sauce. This is what I usually use to season my food. You see me use this a lot in my recipe videos. This is the brand, but I buy it from any brand. This is just the cheapest one I can get it at. Next, I got these little bags for $1.39, I think, I'm not sure. I just bought these so I can put in the pate that I'm making for Princesa. I got some garbage bags. I got a carton of white wine. This was $3.99. This was on sale. It's two bottles of machine, like a clothing machine, the washing machine, to wash it. I need to clean my washing machine, so I need to buy that. I got some shampoo for Luigi. This was $4.19. A pack of pads, which was $2.99, I think. There are cheaper pads, but I like that brand, so. I got a roll of tape, some wet wipes. I don't have babies, but these are always good to have at home. Those, This one was $0.79. Cents. It's always the cheapest one, and it's a good brand, so. I got a, some deodorant for Luis. Luis is my boyfriend. That's his name. Got two packs of batteries, double A batteries. I got a, two packs of pens. This one was 79 cents, and this one was 119. Then I got some super glue. Can't remember how. I think it was 129. I grabbed these. Glow spins because sometimes I wash two two machines of uh, clothes and then I don't have enough clothes pins so I had to grab one of those. I grabbed some more parchment paper. Two packs of wet food for Princesa because I am going to be trying to make the homemade wet food but I don't know if she'll like it so I'll have these just in case she doesn't. And some paper towels. And I think that was all from Casa Shea. And that this plus the frozen foods that I showed you first, it was all 205 euros. But there was also a bag of dog food that I bought for my mom. I left it at her house. So that was 9 euros. If you take that out, the total will be... 196 euros so not bad I didn't waste 200 euros completely I stayed under 200 euros at Casa Shea which is good it's better than what I usually do but it's still expensive but what can we do everything's going up can't keep complaining about that it is what it is so yeah I'm gonna clear all of this off and then I'm gonna show you what I got at Ping Dus. Alright, so it's a pretty small haul for Ping Dus. I got some ketchup for $1.39. I got a jar of tomato sauce because I didn't have that at Casa Shea and that was $1.79. The Kumpal, I think that juice was $1.79, I think. This was either $1.49 or 
I got a cabbage, a quart of a cabbage for 117 because I can't get a big one. If I get a whole cabbage, it'll go bad before the end of the week. I got a few cherry tomatoes for the salad today. Two pears. Um, some mozzarella mini cheese. This was 189. Some parmigiano. The cheese, the parmigiano was 169. This mozzarella cheese was two euros and nine cents. Um, the price that was in front of it was cheaper. I guess I didn't notice that. It must have stopped being on sale and they forgot to take it out. This was two seventy nine. I know I splurged on this a little, but this is my favorite ham, turkey ham. This I like to have this on hand um, at home. It was one twenty nine, so I only got one. When it's on sale, I usually bring more. I got a whole thing of vanilla extract. This was three ninety nine. I bought this once for two something. The price has gone up, but I think it's worth it because there's so much and this lasts for very long. And since Easter is coming up, I'm going to be using this a lot. Then I got some chicken, some of the grilled chicken for six forty two. I only got one chicken. Um, then I got a Starbucks coffee. This was a euro and ninety nine cents, but I was supposed to drink it and I ended up not drinking it. I got a bag of bagels. Bagels here in Portugal or in the Azores are too overpriced in my opinion. I paid two. How much did I pay for these bagels? $2.99 for these bagels. So I paid almost three euros for these bagels. Four bagels only. These were 13 cents each of these packets. There's 15 packets of this in here. And that was $1.95. It's more expensive than a bar of butter, but these are good for me to take for work because I eat breakfast at work. And not all the time, but sometimes I eat breakfast at work when I'm working mornings. And this is just easier than putting butter in a small container. It's less bulkier, so. And last but not least, I got some daily uh, protection slips. And my grand total at Ping Dus was 38 euros. 38 euros and 70 cents. Yes. All of this is 40 euros. I know it's hard to believe. It doesn't seem like 40 euros, but it is. Alright guys, so this video is a wrap. I spent a total of 234 and 64 cents. I did go over a little of what I wanted to spend. Well, I didn't want to spend this money, but a little of what I was willing to spend, which was 200 euros. I think I said that in the beginning of the video, but I thought it was going to be impossible. Although we just went up 34 euros, so that's not that much. Um, there have been months where I spent more, so I am going to take this as a win. I, of course this is just the basic, I usually go to the store weekly to get what else I need. So that's not exactly what I'm going to be spending for the month of March, but it's the majority. So yeah, if you like these types of videos, hit that thumbs up button, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see more from me, and have a nice week. Bye!